Interstellar Rift. Interstellar Rift is a first-person starship simulator with an emphasis on open-world exploration and multiplayer interaction. I am Crash Creeley, the voice for Sodomo De Beers, and welcome to the channel. I bought this game in 2015. I played it for an hour, maybe, and then I forgot about it. Of course, I didn't play it ever again. End of video. Not long ago, I received a message, Yo man, you need to buy Interstellar Rift. It's a game you will like for sure. I checked my Steam library and found I already have this game. When you start the game, you need to choose one of four factions. Hurl's Company, Galactic Trade, Sentinel Security Systems, or Drifters. Every faction starts with different conditions and every faction does its business a little bit different. I like to mine in space so I chose Hurl's Company. I'm always a miner in interstellar rift and flying in asteroid fields looks awesome. When you start you have money which is called units. You can buy a starter ship or you can build your own. I will return to building your own ship later. Gameplay. The game runs alright, but it's not very optimized, so you'll have sudden and random stutters. This is a known problem with this game. Other than that, the game runs smooth. You'll fly your ship, mine resources, and after that you can store your resources in a space station vault or sell them. The space is divided into different rifts. You start in Rift Zero. If you want to travel to Rift 1, you will need a Rift Generator and a special fuel for it. For higher tier resources, you need to fly to higher tier rifts, which are dangerous. You will meet enemies for sure. The game offers single player and multiplayer. I jumped directly into multiplayer on a PvE server. I'm not recommending PvP server for obvious reasons. If you decide to leave your ship and try the cold vacuum of space, you can't leave the ship through an airlock or something like that. The only way to leave your ship is to teleport. You can teleport to a space station or different ships if you need to and are in range of the teleporter. Graphics. Graphics are fine. If you're looking for something with fancy graphics, this game is not for you. Maybe try Elite Dangerous with its huge universe. You can buy Elite Dangerous often with a really nice discount. Sound. Sound is fine, nothing special. If you're mining asteroids, it is nice to see and hear the machines in your ship doing their job. Fighting with enemies has some nice sound effects as well. You can clearly hear as their projectiles or lasers are hitting the hull of your ship. Shipbuilding. Before I get into explaining it, I need to tell you guys this game probably has the easiest and the best spaceship building I've ever seen. It is absolutely crazy how easy it is to build your own ship in this game. You can spend hours and hours in the ship editor. Your own spaceship can have basically any shape. You can build even multi-story spaceships with elevators or stairs to walk on. If you're happy with your creation, upload it to the Steam Workshop and share it with friends. I build flying cubes most of the time. I think shipbuilding in this game deserves its own video. Let me know if you want one in the comments below. Conclusion This game is not for everybody, but it's not expensive like other early access games. If you like space games, maybe this is the game for you. Sometimes you can find me on the official PvE server playing this game. I was really surprised when some people recognized me playing this game and they couldn't believe it was really me. This has been Crash Creeley, the voice for Sodomo De Beers. If you enjoyed the video, click that like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.